Welcome back, everybody. I'm Stephanie Jones coming at you with the latest in sports. The Florida Gators traveled to Music City last night to face the Commodores. The Gators had a slow start in the first half when Vandy took an early lead in Memorial Gym. Irving Walker, though, had an 8-0 run to wake up Florida, shaking the defense out of their shoes for the layup. Scotty Wilpikin hits the three to tie it up, and the Gators would head into the locker room down by just three. Florida kept it close in the beginning of the second half, but Vanderbilt seniors were tough to beat in their last home game. The doors were too much for the Gators as they won on senior night 77 to 67. Sticking with the SEC, Ole Miss was in Fayetteville last night for a little basketball. We go now to the second half when Brandon Mitchell throws down the huge slam for the Razorbacks, reinforcing their lead. Later, he dishes it out to Wade for the three. Arkansas had the lead the whole game, but watch out because Ole Miss is not, is not dead yet. 44 seconds to go and the Rebels are down by one. Murphy Holloway will grab this offensive board and make the layup to, and the Rebs pull ahead, but are quickly answered by the Razorbacks. Ole Miss gets the and one to go up by three with eight seconds left. After a missed layup here, Arkansas is left hung out to dry 77 to 75. Now on to tonight's game, the Tennessee Volunteers will head to Baton Rouge tonight to battle the Tigers. The Vols come into Pete Maravich Assembly Center off a 73-64 win in South Carolina. The Tigers are looking for redemption at home after a huge 72-48 loss at Ole Miss. Tip-off is at 9 p.m. The Lady Gators will travel to Nashville tomorrow to face Auburn in the first round of the SEC tournament. Florida comes in as a number eight seed and the Tigers come in at number nine. The two teams last faced off on February 9th in Gainesville, and the Tigers were sent back to Auburn with their tails between their legs. If the Gators want a repeat of the 70-56 win, they must stop 6'1 freshman guard Hasina Muhammad, who had 19 points and 6 steals in their, in their last game against Ole Miss. The game tips off tomorrow at 1 p.m. Moving, moving now to high school, Hawthorne boys basketball traveled to Lakeland this morning for the FHSAA Class 1A state championship. The Hornets fell early to Chipley in the first half and struggled to stay afloat, going, down, going into the half down by 21. The Chipley Tigers took home the state title 71-48. Now on to the tennis court. Women's tennis is currently in play against Florida State University. The Gators seen here in their last match against North Carolina are fresh after their match on Sunday was rained out. The Seminoles come into the ring tennis complex ranked 22nd and will have to face Allie Will, the top ranked singles player in the country. Finally, today is February 29th, which happens only once every four years. In honor of Leap Day, let's take a look at some recent great leaps in the world of sports. Remember this one from December? Jerome Simpson of the Cincinnati Bengals flips into the end zone and he stuck the landing. It's a good thing Heath Frisbee stuck his landing at the Winter X Games, yet a front flip on a snowmobile for a gold medal. And how about this for elevation? Blake Griffin goes sky high to throw down against the Thunder. And Jeremy Lin made the biggest leap this year, the leap from obscurity to international sensation in less than two weeks. Happy Leap Year, everybody. So that Jeremy Lin has really made an impact. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. Great. More news after the break. Stay with us.